Hello, party people. Today, we're not reacting to something today. I want to talk to you about a thought that came to me last night, and I wanted to share it. I thought that you might like it. There's just something about being a dad, something awesome about being a dad. And in this video, I want to share with you why I think it's awesome being a father and why if you're going to be a dad, you have a lot of things to look forward to, and albeit some challenges, but mostly blessings. So first of all, when you become a father, it's terrifying, right? And you're forced to grow up. And I, I don't, one thing I can't fathom is why some men choose to not spend time with their children. I, I don't understand why there are men slash guys who have kids and then abandon them. I can't get around that concept. And so I, I really thought about that. Like maybe it's a fear of growing up. Maybe it's a fear of responsibility, Maybe it's avoidance of like a, f a fear of screwing the person up. I'm sure there's some kind of fear there. There's something deeper there. And I'd mean no judgment to a, f to a father who's left. I'll say this. If you're going to be a dad, it is the biggest blessing you will ever experience. And each stage has new blessings and new challenges. When they're first born, you are up all the time. And a lot of people report that when a newborn is born, it's totally normal if you feel a sense of detachment. For me, I was instantly like hooked. I was like, dude, being a dad's the best thing in the world. But for a great friend of mine, it took him a few months to feel any sort of attachment to his child, any sort. And in fact, we were just hanging out the other day. His son is two and he was telling me it was just now that he was starting to feel really close to his kid. So if you're worried that your child's been born and you feel no sense of fatherliness, no sense of like parental instinct, it'll come. It'll come just through being a parent. There's something so rewarding about watching your child learn how to do the most basic things and blow your mind while doing them. Learning how to talk, learning how to walk, learning how to do all those things. But then when they hit like two years old, which is my son, they start developing a personality. And yeah, sometimes that personality butts heads with you. You're gonna have fits, you're gonna have to give timeouts and maybe spank or whatever you've got to do, whatever discipline tactic you choose. Overall, the most rewarding thing is watching them become their own person and also part of you. So like my son is every bit my wife as he is me. And last night we were playing in the yard and we were playing in the sprinkler, we're splashing and he's really a vo very vocal child. He talks very well. And just the things he said to me were blowing my mind. And I just got this thought in my head of like, there's just something about being a dad that is better than anything else in the world. To the tune of this, I used to desperately want to be a famous musician, desperately. Like I really wanted to be like the next Brad Paisley or Luke Bryan. Like I wanted to be a big deal. And then my son was born and I no longer wanted that because I realized that would take me away from home. I used to want to be a touring musician. I don't want that. In fact, my dream job is one where I'm home as much as possible because I love being with my family that much. And I, and I recognize I got 16 more years of my son being a child and then he's gone. And so being a father is the most beautiful blessing and responsibility I have ever encountered. And I highly encourage you, if you know you're going to be a dad, stick with the child. It's going to be awesome. You're going to love it, even if you don't love it at first. That's normal. I have a lot of thoughts when it comes to being a father. Another would be this is your chance as a dad to, to right the wrongs that you see in society, to right the wrongs that you saw growing up. It's a major responsibility. You're the one teaching your son how to process or your daughter how to process the world, how to treat people, how to act. And if I could give you one piece of advice, one, it would be this. They do what you do. Children do what you model, not what you say. Children do what you model, not what you say. So you've got to model healthy behaviors. You've got to, you've got to live out what you think is healthy. And if you're not healthy, get counseling. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not only a father, but I also work with kids for a living. I'm an assistant principal of an elementary school. So I have a deep passion for mentoring tomorrow's leaders because it won't be long when I'm an old man and I'm going to be looking to people who are right now five years old to take care of our country. And I want to have faith that we're in good hands. And I refuse to be part of my generation who just bashes kids nowadays. I instead choose to pour into them and hope to God that they come out all right. If my kid is watching this 10 years from now, being your dad, even at the age of two, has been the biggest blessing in my entire life. And I bet you anything you find any other YouTubers who are dads as well, they would agree with me on that. There's just something about being a father that rises above everything else. So congrats if you're a new dad. Congrats if you're expecting. You're in for a treat. God bless. That's all I got for you guys. Bye.